Welcome to the feature overview of Open Partition Release 06. With the last release we introduced the interior of the church and I found this no longer uh, fitted to, uh, together with the outside. That's why uh, with this release we have a new full-blown cathedral outside on the marketplace. What else is new? We can now switch to the map view where we have uh, uh, four new cities London, Brügge, Bergen and all to the all the way to the east Novgorod. You can switch to a different city by selecting it and then either left or right click. However, only cities where either a branch office or a ship is present are at all selectable. So, let's have a look at uh, the ship traveling. We need uh, some sailors on our ship uh, so we can travel. And then mm, uh, let's uh, buy some uh, wares, perhaps some spices, always good. And let's travel to Bergen. The calculation of the route, uh, for the first time the route is calculated, may take some time, but uh, then it is cached and there uh, should be a uh, quite fast on subsequent ones. Let's fast forward a bit until we are nearly there. Okay, now switch to Bergen and see. Ah, uh, did not make a profit. But anyway, uh, let's see if we can hire some more sailors, right? And uh, the second feature that is new is uh, you can now create convoys. For a convoy you need to have a captain, you need to have at least 20 sailors on the ship and you need to have weapons. As weapons cannot yet be uh, bought, I introduced uh, cheat mode. Cheat mode is uh, activated and deactivated by pressing F10. And then we can cheat some weapons on the active ship by uh, pressing Ctrl W uh, repeated times to be sure that uh, there are really enough. And Another cheat that I've added is Control S, which will create a new ship in the city. So now let's have a look. When clicking on the ship, we can now see the ships that are in port and we can select the different ones and uh, make those the active ships. Uh, so now let's uh, hire some sailors here too. And with right click on the ship I bring up the uh, convoy dialog and I can say OK, I want to make this a private or a public convoy. Uh, the difference is uh, with a public convoy any ship can join and the uh, private convoy only your own ship uh, can join. Now we see uh, the uh, list has here updated. This is our uh, Oleg ship and uh, listed below are all the ship members of that convoy. And if we now select the other ship, right click, we can see uh, this ship cannot become a convoy, but it can join uh, this one. And that's how it's done. I can also select it again, right click, it brings up this uh, leave dialog, so this ship can uh, leave the convoy again. Uh, or if I 
do it on the convoy itself, uh, I can dissolve the whole convoy. And that's all for the new features for this release.